Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Buckle up and gather round, folks, because your favorite neighborhood critic is about to serve up a royal drama so spicy. It'll make the Tower of London's resident ravens fly the coop. We're diving deep into the latest gossip about the royal kiddos, and let me tell you, it's more twisted than a Windsor family tree. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, comment guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So now, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, the adorable munchkins of Will and Kate, apparently know diddly spot about their cousins across the pond, Archie and Lilibet. That's right, folks. The royal cousins are about as close as the queen was to understanding TikTok. It's like they're living in parallel universes, separated by an ocean of drama and a whole lot of tabloid ink. Now, before we dive in, let's get one thing straight. I'm not here to judge. I'm just a humble neighborhood critic, serving up the tea and letting you decide if it's Earl Grey or just hot garbage water. So don't come at me with your scepters if you disagree. Save those for your next family feud, yeah. All right, let's break this down. According to royal expert Phil Dampier, and let's be real, being a royal expert sounds like the cushiest job ever. Where do I sign up? George, Charlotte, and Louis know very little about Archie and Lilibet. It's like Harry and Meghan's kids are the royal family's version of Bigfoot. Everyone's heard of them, but no one's actually seen them. But wait, it gets juicier. Apparently, the Wales kids have never met Archie and Lilibet. Never met them. Can you imagine? These kids share DNA, a last name, sort of, and probably a predisposition for fancy hats, but they've never even been in the same room. It's like the world's most exclusive game of hide and seek, and Archie and Lilibet are winning. Now, some of you might be thinking, but wait, didn't Harry and Macon invite the Wales kids to Lilibet's first birthday party? And you'd be right. Good memory, gold star for you. But here's the kicker, they didn't show up. Ouch, that's colder than the Stone of Scone on winter morning. But here's where it gets really interesting. While Archie and Lilibet are living their best life in sunny California, probably eating avocado toast and learning to surf, their royal cousins have found new playmates. Enter the Tyndall kids, Mia, Lena, and Lucas. These little rugrats have basically become the surrogate cousins for George, Charlotte, and Louis. It's like the royal version of the Brady Bunch, but with more tiaras. Now, let's talk about this for a hot second. We've got Mia Tyndall, all of 10 years old, holding little Louis's hand as they strut into church on Christmas Day. It's so cute, it could make a corgi's heart melt. Meanwhile, Archie and Lilibet are probably opening presents under a palm tree, wondering why their Christmas crackers don't have little paper crowns in them. But here's the real tea, folks. This isn't just about kids not knowing their cousins. This is about a family rift so deep you could probably find oil in it. We're talking about two branches of the same family tree growing in completely different directions. One's all God save the king, and the other's all God save my Netflix deal. And let's not forget about the parents in all this. William and Kate are probably teaching their kids about duty and tradition, while Harry and Meghan are, well, who knows? Teaching them how to duck paparazzi and negotiate streaming contracts? But here's where it gets really sad. These kids, all of them, are innocent in this whole mess. They didn't ask to be born into this family soap opera. They didn't choose sides in the great royal schism of 2020. They're just kids who, in a normal world, would be playing together, sharing toys, and probably fighting over who gets to wear the plastic crown at birthday parties. Instead, we've got two sets of cousins who might as well be living on different planets. George, Charlotte, and Louis are probably learning about their family history, preparing for a life of royal duties and public service. Meanwhile, Archie and Lilibet are growing up in a world where their parents are constantly at war with the very institution that gives them their titles. It's like watching a real-life version of The Crown, but with less historical accuracy and more Twitter drama. But let's take a step back for a second and think about what this means for the future of the monarchy. We're looking at a generation of royals who are growing up completely disconnected from each other. What happens when they're adults? Will we see a united front of cousins working together for the good of the crown? Or will the divide just keep growing until the royal family tree looks more like a bush with some very distinctly separate branches? And let's not forget about the cultural divide. George, Charlotte, and Louis are growing up steeped in British tradition, 
probably learning to cue before they can walk. Archie and Lil Bit, they're Californian kids. They probably think tea time is when you drink kombucha. But here's the real kicker, folks. This whole situation is a stark reminder of how family drama can have long-lasting effects. Harry and Meghan's decision to step back from royal duties wasn't just about them. It's impacting an entire generation of royals. So what's the solution? Well, if you ask me, and since you're watching my channel, I'm going to assume you are, it's time for the adults in this situation to grow up. Put aside the hurt feelings, the tell-all books, the Oprah interviews, and think about the kids. Imagine a world where Archie and Lilibet fly over for Christmas at Sandringham, where they build snowmen with their cousins, learn about their family history, and maybe even pick up a British accent or two. Where George, Charlotte, and Louis visit California, learn to surf, and get a taste of life outside the royal bubble. It sounds like a fairy tale, doesn't it? But isn't that what the monarchy is supposed to be about? Fairy tales and happy endings? But let's be real for a second. The chances of that happening anytime soon are about as likely as the queen coming back and declaring the monarchy was all just a big practical joke. The rift between Harry and the rest of the royals seems to be growing wider by the day, and the kids are caught in the middle. So what do we do? Well, we watch, we wait, and maybe, just maybe, we hope that someday these kids will grow up and decide to bridge the gap themselves. Because at the end of the day, they're family. And family, even royal family, should stick together. But until then, we'll just have to content ourselves with imagining what could be. Imagining a world where all the royal cousins play together, where they share their different experiences, where they learn from each other and grow together. Instead, we've got two sets of kids growing up in completely different worlds, probably with completely different values and perspectives. And that, my friends, is the real tragedy in all of this. So what do you think, YouTube fam? Is there any hope for a royal cousin reunion? Or are Archie and Lilibet destined to be the family's mysterious American relatives that everyone talks about but never sees? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another scorching hot take from your favorite royal watchdog. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposes on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.